When you're a rail fanner, you like to catch trains on videos or take pictures, especially heritage units like UP1989, UP1998, and even steam locomotives. However, it's your responsibility to take care of yourself. If not, it could cost your life. One incident actually happened in Colorado three years ago today. This is the story of the 2018 Henderson, Colorado train incident. On July 21st, 2018, an excursion called the Cheyenne Frontiers Day Special, which carries people to and from Denver, Colorado and Cheyenne, Wyoming every year for a country event. The train was hauled by Union Pacific 844, a Class FEF-3 484 Northern Type Steam Locomotive, which was built in December 1944. 844 was in the lead position while having a helpful locomotive. The locomotive in question is UP1943, the spirit of the Union Pacific. A SD70AH, which was built in 2016 as UP9026 until it was painted into the spirit of the Union Pacific in 2017. The excursion is on its way to Denver, Colorado. The train was running on time with no incidents, however, the crew weren't aware that there was trouble up ahead. Meanwhile, in Henderson, Colorado, some rail fenders were in position to catch the A44. Two people named Steve and Kelly Urish were in position to film or watch the A44 go by. As the train was approaching the crossing in Henderson, Colorado, the conductor on board the A44 saw Kelly on the tracks trying to take a picture of the locomotive. The crew tried to put the train into full emergency braking, but it was too late. At about 7.45 p.m., 844 struck Kaylee on her left side. She was thrown inches away from the tracks, killing her instantly from her injuries. 844 continued on for a little bit until finally coming to a stop, and minutes later, fire trucks and police arrived on the scene. Combassadors on board the excursion train were taken to Denver by bus, but everyone was scratching their heads. How did this happen? Could it easily have been avoided? An investigation was conducted and they decided to review video of the modes before the incident and one of the incidents itself were collected from witnesses on both sides of the track, a drone operator, and a security camera for nearby business. After reviewing all of the video footage as well as speaking to witnesses and the train crew, it does not appear if the incident was a crime in any way, an investigator writes. There was also no evidence that suggests that Kaylee Urish was suicidal in any way. At this time, all of the evidence that suggests that the incident occurred as a result of an accident and Kaylee's family along with other people agree with it. After the incident, the excursion was back up and running on July 22, 2018. Except 844 would not be leading the train, but UP1943 would be leading the train along with a helper locomotive. The excursion train departed Denver, Colorado at 1 p.m. The next day, on July 23, 2018, 844 departed Denver, Colorado, hauling a short freight train, and then made it to Cheyenne, Wyoming. After 844 arrived, it didn't run for a while until May 4, 2019, when 4014, the big boy locomotive, was doing an excursion for the 150th anniversary with 844 trailing behind it. As of July 2021, Union Pacific A44 and 4014 are the only two operable Union Pacific steam locomotives left on the roster following the retirement of Union Pacific 3985 from excursion service due to its poor conditions. Three years have passed since this incident occurred. A memorial was set up at the location when Kaylee's life was taken. Let's hope that everyone around the area could learn. Even though you're excited to see a heritage unit or a steam locomotive, you must take care of yourself. And the lessons were learned on that fateful day, so maybe an incident like this can never happen again. <laughs>